Hi, this is Cynelia Benz, and as promised, I am now answering your questions from the Death of the Unspoken Truth class. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken. This question's from Betty. I have read a ton about death and where we go after we die, like Journey of Souls by Michael Newton, and basically I have a huge library of spiritual books about why we're here and the afterlife. One book that really stirred me up several years ago was a book by George, a book by George Cavasilas called Our Universal Journey. He talks about the false light and being this whole angelic, angelic realm and spiritual, spiritual hierarchy as just, just another control, control system, system, not unlike our societal governments or corporations. I'm having a hard time formulating my question, and maybe it is several questions. From Journey of Souls, I became familiar with the idea that our experience after this after death is based on what our beliefs were like while we are alive. With this in mind, here are my questions. 1. Is it possible that the angelic realm is just another control system? The angelic realm depends on your belief system, okay? So there is a species that have appeared on this planet and have had roles on this planet which a lot of us and a lot of cultures call angels. Now, that is not the same. Okay, so let me express this. Maybe you're familiar with the story of Christ, Jesus Christ. And maybe you're familiar with a lot of the religions that were founded on his belief systems, right? Now, would you say that the Catholic Church, for example, or the Jehovah's Witnesses, for example, a true reflection in the physical world of Jesus and his teachings. My personal opinion is that they are not, that in fact they have been turned into control systems. Right? So this is very similar to what, I haven't read his books, but what George talks about, the angelic realms being a control system. He had a really tough, tough, tough time in that he was taken in, he was fooled by certain entities to believe that um, he was a special being bringing their message through and that they were good. And then he found out that you know, they weren't high frequency beings and their agendas were not very good. Um, so giving our power away to other beings is not a good idea whether you're alive or you're dead. Okay. So there are beings and entities who have created hierarchies and um, have called them angelic, uh, and angelic beings and there's a hierarchy there and also it's a control system, it is true. It is also true that there are whole control systems uh, created in, um, by, and they call them Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in the afterlife. So be aware and conscious that anything that gives you fear or tries to control you through fear or duty or martyrdom or uh, missions or um, guilt, anything like that is false. Okay? It doesn't mean that all the angels or angelic realms, the real angelic realms are false and a control system. They're not. They really are not. But there are beings who pretend to be angels and have a hierarchy and are there to control and trap you, if you allow them. Remember, you're a divine eternal being. Nothing can trap you unless you let them. <laughs> all right. The second question. If, we're all, if we are all one, then why is there an angelic hierarchy like angels and archangels? Is this just a belief system? Okay, so. The angels um, don't have a hierarchy like the hierarchy of the human collective monarchy, for example, of power over others. The angelic realms is very similar to the one we call the elf, elven realms, the elemental beings, the other beings that live on this planet, which is a, an, a hierarchy of responsibility. So the higher the angel's position is, what it means is not higher in power over others and control, but responsibility. So for example, a newborn baby angel, <laughs> if they have them, I don't think they have them, but if they were to have them, 
doesn't have any responsibility, right? Because he's a baby, right? But then there's a family who's responsible for the baby and all the other children. So they have a higher level of responsibility, okay? And then there's a village, right? So the village is more responsible than the family and the baby for the welfare of a larger collective. And that's how it goes. This is the type of hierarchy that is actually healthy and the natural hierarchy of the human species before it was before the human species decided to have a light dark game and um if we're all one okay so yes at a certain level we're all one however you have neighbors right and those neighbors have their own expressions of soul and physical bodies and likes dislikes people they love people they don't lo like um, experiences of work and daily life and hobbies, addictions or whatever other things that they get up to during the day. Yet you're all one. You are them and they are you. However, this level of experience, our human level, is not very practical to say we're all one because you're not your neighbor, right? And his experience or her experience is completely different to you and separate from you. So yes, we're one, but at a level of experience, we're not. We're separate and we're ourselves. They're very unique. The same goes for other realms and other beings. Yes, we're oneness, but you're also not your neighbor within regards to other planets and other species like the angels, right? Or even your entourage, your guides and angels that are in your entourage. You are one at certain level of oneness, but at the moment, you're separate beings, yeah, with different um, evolutions and interests and agendas. Okay, three, is the earth a type of purgatory where we must incarnate again and again? Can we choose to not come back here? Mm, maybe you haven't finished the class yet because this was covered in the class. No, you don't have to come back here, you don't choose to. And no, it's not a purgatory and you don't have to come back here over and over again. Okay. Oh yes, and this is explains why you haven't, um, you don't have the answers to that question. He says, I've not started listening to the course. So I'm not sure if you have covered this, but these questions have been heavy on my mind since I read George's Cavassi Salis book. My quest is all about freedom. And when I heard that we may be controlled at a spiritual level, I kind of shook me up. And it still does. Well, Betty, I hope you have listened to the chorus and then you're not longer trapped by belief systems of entrapment. The information in this video relates to my class, Death, the Unspoken Truth. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken.